uh, what I look forward to the most. Um, just seeing what all the guys are wearing. Yeah, I think it's probably taken over from the actual night. Like, who really cares who wins the medals? To be honest, uh, these nights at Brownlow, you know, the Oscars, it's all about what people are wearing, what the guys are wearing, check out the labels, that kind of stuff, you know? Well, generally, I don't, I don't win too many awards, so probably uh, watching someone enjoy uh, the fruits of the best and fairest and uh, a beer for myself. I love putting a suit on. No, I hate it. Um, what do I, I just get free beers. Free beers is probably the best thing. Um, and yeah, enjoying it with your teammates. Yeah, brought mum along all the way over from Geelong, so uh, she's not at our table actually, but that's okay. We, we, it was very last minute, but well, we got her here. I look forward to seeing my beautiful wife dress up, and obviously the other partners and all the, uh, the women around there. Uh, the free food and um, beverages, probably. Oh look, obviously we haven't got a whole lot to celebrate this year. Um, we're in a bit of a better mood last year, but um, you know, whoever wins tonight will be a deserving winner. I'm looking forward to getting around him. and popping a few champagne bottles and pouring, pouring it all over him. And I, I look forward to a good speech. Um, generally there's one really good one, heartfelt, and there's usually one stuff up, so there's laughs and good times. There's been some howlers in the past, Jack Darling, Scott Lysette. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I'd put my money on them. Gaffy, you know, I reckon Gaffy's going to speak tonight regardless, he'll finish in the top five, so my money's on Gaffy. Well, he's done it a few times. I, I don't mind saying the guy over my right shoulder, Jack Darling, would easily be the worst of that. Well, I've, I've seen it. We've all seen it. You look at me with a knowing smile. Yes, you know that he is the worst. Um, and I'll have, I'll, I hope he hears this because he needs to work on it. But I hope he gets up there tonight so I can have a good chuckle. Well, he's done it before. So probably Scotty Lossett or his mate Jack Darling. Neither of them have very high IQs and uh, it's always entertaining if they have to get up and talk. Dom Sheed. I think he's done one, but um, I don't know. I think the kid from Cal... Uh, plays better footy than he does deliver speeches. Ginner would be an easily the worst, I would have thought. Um, he'd struggle to get his name out, let alone any sentences or anything, so yeah, Ginner. What award would I like to see given out? Well, it'd have something to do with the back line or like Golden Fist type of award. So, not spoils though, but you know, one percenters. I'd like to see a, almost a coach's award for one percenters. Most annoying teammate? They'd love, oh, and who do I give it to? Oh. Chris Masson, hands down. It'd be unanimous. Actually, no, but it's, um, I'm actually going for back-to-back -back community awards tonight. So if I win that tonight, back-to-back, -to -back, I'm going to call for the club to retire my number when I'm done. I'd love to see the fans' favourite. I think maybe they don't do it because they know that I'm everyone's favourite eagle and you can't have a 15-year perpetual winner of that trophy. Maybe that's why they don't do it. I'd love to see best contest of the year awarded. And I think... Um, I reckon Shaz would have it stitched up every single year. He always gives about four or five a season that you know, I, I personally couldn't do it, but he's tough as nails, that bloke. Shaz, <laughs> I think I'd like to see best and fairest at the best and fairest. So who's best on at the best and fairest is probably an award, and I think I'd be a front runner. Uh, best bloke, once again, they'd go to Ginner. He'd, um, yeah, shattered, he's, he's not going to be with us next year, but yeah, he'd win that one. Tip for winner and why? Of best dressed? No, <laughs> winner. Oh, tips for the actual winner? Uh, tip for the winner, Josh Kennedy. But I think Luke Shuey will win. JK, he's had a great year, obviously, probably most consistent. Just itching out Shuey, I think. I uh, walked in um, this, uh, the convention centre tonight with Luke Shuey, so, and I said to him, there's a hologram of a big John Worsfold medal down the stairs down there. And I said to him, mate, you're going to win that tonight, and he, he told me to, to yeah, get stuff. So that's my pick tonight. I hope Garb or JK get up. I think that, you know, it'd be good for a big fella to get up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Garb. Josh Kennedy, Luke Shuey, two horse race. There's, there'll be guys that are just behind him, obviously, Gaff Prittis, we know them all. Uh, but Shuey Kennedy, I can't tell you why I'd pick one over the other. They both had amazing years for different reasons.